All right, y'all, you already know we rolling backstage with Backwoods Dreamville 2024. We sitting down with an uh, artist that just hit the stage yesterday, did his thing, and we had to holler at him. Oh, man, what's up? What's happening? How you doing? I'm feeling good. Clap it up for Yeah, him, clap it up for up, <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm feeling good. I um, My set went great, so I'm, yeah, you know, I'm, sure. I'm super happy with that. And I was telling her I'm just relieved because I, I tried something new this time. I wasn't stressing, but it was definitely on my mind. I tried something new this year, so I just didn't know how it was going to go. But What did you decide to try new and different in your show? And you what did? made you? So, basically... Uh, you know, me and my fans, it's been an ongoing thing about when is, when are you gonna have new music coming? Cause it's been a long like absence for various reasons. But even though I keep telling them like the album's done, you know, they they like where's the music though? So I was like, man, I don't want to come in another year without new music. So I was like, I want to do something creative. Um, and like the album's done, but there's some business stuff holding it up right now. So nice. I was like, I got to figure something out. So basically. I was like, what if I just wrote a verse live on stage and made something new in front of them? And then I didn't know how it was gonna go. It was a risky move, Damn, but I, I did it. I never seen nobody do that. It went great. I wrote the verse, threw the notebook in the crowd, and it was it was a dope, dope moment. So nah, that's some true artist type shit to do though. It was risky, bro. I, I was feeling <laughs> it. I can't even lie. But I, when it went well, I was just so relieved, you know. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. So like now that that you're seeing that you'll get like out of your own head like to start for sure trying to do more stuff I was, now. Yeah, yeah. I think that like one I could do that again, but yeah. just like you said, just open up yourself to open up yourself to just ideas out the box. Period. Got yeah, it. that's that's freeing too. Yeah. Like you did it, but did you recite it live on stage too? Yeah, I like I wrote it on stage and then I rapped it in front of them. And then you threw it, so one of your fans yeah, got, they got they it. They like I got the the day he wrote yeah, it. And that's I, I signed it and everything. Yeah. yeah, that's what's up. But what what has like led you to that point though to be free and trying new things as an artist? Like it was the absence um, or I think it's. I'm kind of a stubborn person. Like, I, it's like I don't care if everybody's doing something that way and it's working. It's like if I want to do it this way, I'm gonna do it this way. That's just kind of my personality. But it's like I don't like getting in my own. Sometimes you get on your own way, like Thanks. thinking you know everything. And it's like I'm just in a space, just mentally, just in life wise, where I'm just I am being free. I am like, who cares? You know, like. I came up there with a book bag on. I didn't know how none of that was going to go, you know, yeah. but it's just like, I think this is the time to be free and be yourself because it's so cluttered. Everybody's doing a lot of the same things. It's like, it's going to take people to take risk, you know? Mm -hmm. So I just feel like, why not? Instead of criticizing what everybody else doing, like, it's like, look in the mirror, what are you doing? That's how, right. that's how I look at it. Like, what am I going to do? It's like, it's like, the criticizing don't do anything for anybody. So I'm just like in a place mentally where it's like, Man, just just be yourself, just express yourself, and the people that's gonna connect with it, gonna connect with it. Cause it seems like if you gonna win, like I wanna win being me. On my me, terms, exactly. You know, if I'ma lose, yeah. I lose on my exactly. terms as well. Cause like, the other way is like, you gotta keep that up. You mm -hmm. gotta keep that facade up, and it's like, that get tiring, bro. Like, yeah. you going places and you like, oh, I gotta I gotta be like this, cause they think I'm like this. And it's like, no, just be who I am. And if you, if it resonate, then it resonate, you know? For sure. Now that you feel free creatively, what's something that you want to try or do or implement um, into your artistry? I think um, even before this set, just like musically, I've been in a real, like a more free space. Like I, I'm really excited for people to hear the album because it's like, it's familiar to like people that know my music, but mm -hmm. it's I really challenged myself. But like I really tried all types of stuff. like doing stuff with my voice, singing, writing different types to different types of production. Like, I'm really proud of this album. And so to answer your question, it's like, I'm just gonna continue that. Like, I wanna try rapping on totally different types of beat than I would ever get on, you know, like different genres. Um, but just still rapping. Like, what is, could I could I make rapping on a house beat dope? Not just like, mm. it sound good, but like, could I actually, is there a way to like, bar up on a house beat and still make it danceable like those are the challenges i think about like how yeah. can i be creative but still be myself and think outside the box exactly. but right. push yourself to yeah. the limits it's some features on the album or you can't that's business the uh, you can't talk about yet yeah i can't i would say i put a, I, I tell you one of the songs has ari lennox on it um Ooh, but shit. that's all i'm gonna say for now ari yeah. lennox yeah yeah okay yeah. <laughs> okay yeah. yeah i'm i'm excited we, we need to you to get that business okay. straight yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. okay yeah, we sure. do okay so ari lennox on there if you had to describe the vibe of the album 
Like, let us know what we can look forward to. It's, to hear him. What, what kind describe. of mood it's, you going to um, put us in? It's very vibey. I know that's like a cliche term now, mm. but it's like, it's, um, it's hard to, it's like, if you've ever been around, I'm a, like, okay, my nickname is TDK, which is like, stands for Turn Down King. <laughs> it started as a joke because I'm just always mellow. And yeah. it's like, I just started owning it. Like, yeah, I'm hey. TDK. Like, but... <laughs> The music is. I'm not cutting you off. Went home, boy. Gave you that. Oh man, bro. We was on a. um, (laughs) We was actually on a. It was years ago. We was on a tour bus. Yeah. And we had a. We was in Virginia. Oh man, it comes TDK. We we was in Virginia on a. It was like a party on a bus. Yeah. And I was just chilling. Like I had a drink. I wasn't even. I'm just chilling. And my homie, like, he just looking at me. I'm like, what? He like, bro, you the only nigga that could play the wall in the middle of the party. And I'm like, he like, you turned down king. Like you TDK. And, they, and it stuck. They all kept saying it. I was like, oh shit, I gotta get the heat off me. Like, so I was like, I'm gonna just own it. So I put it in a song. Like, yeah, I'm TDK. And then the fans started like latching on to it. So then the joke was over. Like, cause it was like, yeah, that's it. But yeah, to, long story short, it's like, I'm just a real mellow dude. Like, yeah, even sure. when I'm excited, you can't tell unless you like really you know me. It, you're like, yeah. yeah, it's hard to tell. So it's like, I think some people think like, you okay? But I really be cool. It's just, I'm just mellow. You're so, just chilling. Just chilling. So, I would say the music kind of reflects that, but it's real detail. Like I'm, I'm for anybody who's been wondering like where you been, it's answered in the in the album. Like I'm telling people my story, and just kind of using even like vulnerable moments, like stuff that might be embarrassing. It's like because I feel like we got to be honest. Like it's, it's again going back to like just be yourself. Like just yeah. you know, what's what's this I don't absence, see any harm in it. This absence that you talk about, how long was it? Oh like, man, it's so. It's it's a long story, but basically I had an album called Elephant Eyes that came out 2000, I want to say 15, Mm -hmm. and it ran into some, again, some business issues, Mm -hmm. Um, and they had, it was like some sample clearance issues, so we had to take it off of streaming, it was just a real headache, Um, and it happened at a time when like I wasn't prepared, like I was still, it was still growing, basically, Um, so I had done like a small tour for it and everything, and then, um, just a series of events happened where it was just taking longer. I had a child, uh, the pandemic, just a lot of right. a lot of things yeah. was happening that was like I was adapting. So, you know, it's a lot of reasons why it happened. Some of it was just overthinking, really. Uh-huh. And so that was really explaining the absence. Some of us some of it was out of my control. Like some some stuff is just business, people not doing their job. But so it's been a total of like nine years. Has it been that long? Shit. I was gonna say what? Well, this as, 20, yeah, this 2024. So I was gonna almost be nine years. It's I'm crazy. On nine, nine yeah, years. Yeah, so it's time. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, time for it. I, I've had new music out, just not an album. Yeah, like, just you put know like I mean? a complete yeah, workout. Complete project. Yeah, exactly. I bet fans are looking forward to hearing that. Yeah, too. I can't. I can't post anything without them. Like, okay, but well, where's the album? Where? Yeah. And you know, I. Some people you can post a, a picture of your child. Anything, like, yeah. It's like what a album. Like, okay, what but, Happy you know Easter, what? but what yeah, album? Exactly. <laughs> Literally, Happy but, Birthday again. What album? But yeah. I appreciate it because it's like they could they be not be, asking at all. Yeah, you know, yeah. Like, so you know it's from. That's how you know it's anticipated. Yeah, yeah. But see, I would say this though: even with your hiatus in the game, to still be on the Dreamfield Festival lineup, yeah, like that. I mean, that's just that, love. You yeah, know what you, mean? Don't, yeah. you don't even understand. I don't take that's that for still big. Yeah, yeah. So it's like even though you say. You you know what I mean you the turn down king like I know you be like shit they still want me out no, here for though. sure I mean yeah. when I say that turn down it's not I don't say that with like like uh, I'm saying you still a show like yeah I'm not yeah. saying that with like I'm not confident I'm confident I'm owning that it's like for yeah I'm sure. a mellow dude but like I got something to offer you know what I mean gotcha. like so yeah I, I'm that's what I mean by owning it it's like yeah I'm a mellow okay like yeah. okay what yeah. you feel like the one of the biggest lessons life taught you or the game taught you from being in that position for nine years i would say i mean it's gonna sound generic but just like get out your head like i was i was so because of what happened with my last album it was like it was like a cult classic to my fans and then they got snatched and then i was like oh i gotta put some out quick and it gotta be classic so i put crazy amount of pressure on myself to make the most amazing possible songs i could make and it was like nothing I was making was good enough to me because I was just in my head. But really, the songs was good enough. And so I would say the thing I learned really is just, one, get out your head, and two, like, to be free because life is going to change. You got to adapt. It's like ha- having a child really changed me. It's like that's the first time I real. I, before that, my only responsibility in life was my career, for real. Like, So that taught me, like, just being a man and, like, realizing – Everything might not go exactly how you plan, but it's how you react, how you adapt. Sometimes how you react could be worse than what actually happened to you. So, mm. 
Um, right. Speak it. That's yeah. what I learned. Okay. Nah, let that, yeah. let that yeah. speak yeah. for a minute. Yeah, that's but now, nah, even that, that gives you some more to even to talk about. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You're talking from a different like perspective lens of life. Aspect. Yeah, right. lens. Like, because, like you said, you really had no responsibility but your career. But now it's like, I see life Shit, totally, totally different. different. Like, yeah. Totally different. Shit, it's a lot of uh, dads. We need that music yeah, too. Exactly. Yeah. And I, yeah. I, I was just, I was just telling somebody. Um, I had I got a song. I actually performed it today. It's a song on my album called Permanently, and it's a line in there. It ain't a bar, nothing to me. I was just it was just being honest. Which this line was just like hoping I could be a better father. And I remember playing it for somebody. They was like, Oh my god, they hit me so hard. And I was like, Oh, like I'm thinking the punchlines. Yeah. And it's just going to yeah. resonate. But they like, No, nah, we just like. Nobody's saying that, being that honest. So like, people want to feel connected to yeah. artists now. They want to feel like we going through the same things, exactly. or you been through what I've been through, and you know. So for I sure. feel like they looking forward to that. Yeah, well, you got to think about it. You when you speak of your fan base and they they listen to your music, if they hear that like I got to be a better father. Like, bro, I was thinking that same yeah. shit. That's confirmation. Like, yeah. yeah, they gonna yeah. think that's confirmation. Yeah. Cause them bars like that's gonna. They Sometimes know you they go over your head. The bars, yeah. so it's uh -huh. like, and it's like. If I'm being honest, a bar is like, oh, that's clever. But like you said, it ain't. it's different than something that you were going through yourself. It's like, oh, I'm yeah. going through that. So, yeah. yeah. Any dream collabs in the industry? Dream collabs. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's a lot of people. Um, Top I, three. I love to work with Nora Hill before she, Ooh. you know, before she exit. Well, don't um, we all? And I don't yeah. even make music. You know, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know how likely, but I would love that. Um, man, I love to work with Nas. That's just again before. It's like I'm trying to catch my heroes before they leave. Uh -huh. um, I mean, Drake. Uh, who else? It's a lot of people. Um, I'm blanking, but it's, it's it's a lot of different people I would want to work with. So I would say, and that's a different like. I would genre say, of I should I should say it's some singers too. I mean, Jill Scott. Uh, For sure, Jill. Uh -huh. You know. Um, I like SZA. Um, Everybody loves, loves SZA. I mean, SZA, her, her last album was amazing. Amazing. You know I mean? um, Did you get to see her perform last night? I saw half of it, and then it got hella cold. And it I was, did yeah, get cold. I was, it was like, chilly. I got to get out of here. But no, nah, her set was dope. Um, yeah. You left before she did the split? I didn't see the split. Oh, oh man. Oh, damn. <laughs> she did do a split. Man. And you know, SZA thick Shit. and fine. It was oh, nice. Right. I ain't even, you I missed the most. I well, know. not the most important. I know what you said. Yeah. I missed the highlight. <laughs> <laughs> My bad. It's all good. I ain't yeah. going through PR I gotta training. check that out. Nah, I seen no real talk. I seen in your um Instagram bio you said you the black Larry David. <laughs> what yeah. make you say that? Cause you know Larry uh, David is a comedian, he a writer, like Yeah, so it's it's really based off like his character on his show, Kirby Enthusiasm. Kirby, uh -huh. Okay. So like if you if you watch that show, he just he's just crazy. Like he it's the way he looks at stuff. So I would say I think like him. But like every time he do something, I damn near agree all the time. I wouldn't do it because some of the stuff he he just it's like you just being an ass. Yeah, you being yeah. an ass. But, <laughs> but, but you can see. But I can yeah. see why yeah, he's sure. doing it. Okay. Yeah. It's like I wish I could do it in real life. Like, but I just resonate with him. And the show just it's just funny as hell. I just love that show. Yeah. yeah. Ooh, yeah. Do you like comedy? I love comedy. I was I was literally, and it's still in the process. But I took a I took a break from it to get, make sure I get my album out. But I was writing a sitcom actually. Uh, oh, that's what's yeah, up. Based cool. on I lived in New York a couple years, and the sitcom was kind of like it was based on me a little bit. But it was more so based on like the personal life of a rapper, like what's what's going on behind the scenes. So and just kind of like it was based. It was a sitcom, so it was based on my personality being kind of quiet and passive but living in New York City where it's, ain't it's no time hustling. to be passive nah, you, know, you got like, the, and it, yeah. I was always in an awkward situation because of that so it's That's still gonna funny. happen but that New York okay. life different it's it? different it's way different I mean I'm coming from Chicago but yeah. it's like it's faster it's like but even even then like I feel like in Chicago like it's still like a sense of like See, people will speak for sure. <laughs> really? For sure. Yeah New York yeah, it's, just, it's um, I, thought, I didn't cause, know cause you yeah, got yeah, Chicago people, people from Chicago is really like from Southerners, the South. yeah. So it's like they still got a little bit of that Southern hospitality, a little bit. But yeah, New York is um, it's a different beast. But I will say, when I first got to New York, I was mean mugging everybody because I was just used to that in Chicago. Like, and I remember. Oh, you the, fit right in. Then. Yeah, but but they was looking at me like, what's the issue? And I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, I had I didn't even realize I was doing it, you know. So, but yeah, I, I loved New York. It was just it was kind of fast though. Hey, yeah, you should keep writing a sitcom. That'd be dope. Yeah, I want to. I want to. Who you what? listening to if you're not listening to your own music right now? Hmm. Who's somebody on your playlist that you probably like? 
We wouldn't even expect for you to be. Wouldn't even expect. I would say it's this artist. He's not a rapper. He's not a, I mean, he's a singer, but it's like a, I don't even know what genre to call it. Um, his name is King Crew, K-R-U-L-E. Mm-hmm. I think he's from overseas, but I can't even describe his music. It's like rock, jazz. It's something different. I never heard nothing like that, but okay. I think it's just because I'm in the space I'm in of wanting to hear free, different yeah, stuff. So like it's he- like when I hear it, I'm like, even some of it I might not love, but I'm like just the fact that he took the risk to do try that. Like, so I'm, it's not really inspiring, but like no. no but I was about to right. say, okay, yeah, okay. I was about to say, and I think that's dope because people, when you think of inspiration, you always think it gotta be the greats. Exactly. But it could really just um, be something new and quirky or yeah. different, and it like it just piqued a different part of your imagination or creativity. Up, yeah, sure. yeah. It's just like creativity. somebody trying something different, and it sounds good. It's and like, it being dope. Oh yeah, that's that's like that. That's inspiring enough. You know? Yeah. Like, what that's you think? What, of, me what you think about Cole and Kendrick right now? Uh, I mean, you know, it's the talk of the time. Obviously, like they two heavyweights. You know, I got respect for both of their pins. Um, so you can't you can't take lightly on neither one of them. But come on, I'm home team. No, but I'm know. saying when you heard the uh, seven minute. Uh, what did I think about it? Yeah. I mean, I was first of all, I was I just I was happy he responded. Yeah, I wanted he, him to respond. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah like, okay. like for sure. yeah, you know, like. Um, and know, I was surprised. I didn't think he was gonna respond. I wasn't sure. I was pretty sure he was, but I, I knew he was going to respond. It. I just so, didn't know when. Yeah. Um, but I was, you know, I was glad he responded. Just, not just because it's home team, but just because, like, this is a hip hop fan. Like, we all yeah, watched that's what, that's Nas and Jay Z. Yeah. We all seen how cool that battles were. Jadakiss and Beanie Siegel. Like, so to see two heavyweights with sharp pins going at it. You know, it's dope. It's like it's fun. It's inspiring. But and, you um, could just tell Cole just threw a little light jab. Yeah, I mean, like, yeah, for sure, it's just a light jab. Like, I feel like I really want to see it go there because you want to. You want to see feel like Cole been as sharp as it's ever been. So I feel like he wanted. I just want to like, see where you know. I want to see the capability. Cause that's what he was like. That's nigga, you trying me? Right. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. yeah did like, you, did you forget? Yeah, let I me mean, show you know, y'all who yeah, I am. I think, I think it's just um. It's for the sport of it, you know. For it's sure. Like, if you're gonna, you gonna claim that that number one spot, prove it. That's really what mm, it is. Yeah, you know. I love it. I'm excited. Any yeah. anybody that you think is up next that you feel like people don't know about, that's like. Well, you could put us on. Yeah, I know you said us, King uh, Cruel. King Cruel. But some, um, um, somebody think. you know, like. I know. I'm trying to. I'm trying to. It's like the last. Like I want to say, damn near seven months. I've been just listening to my my album and trying mm-hmm. to fix it. But let me let me think. Yeah, we what ready about, to listen to it too. I, li- I know, man. <laughs> 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 I'm trying to think. What, what am I listening Especially to? Especially that R and Linux. So yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah, I can't wait to hear that. Uh, cause you could just tell like both of y'all like musically like what like sure. mesh like yeah. I can tell. What yeah. was that? Did y'all work in the do it in the studio together or did you have to send it to her? It's. It's kind of a long story, but it's like um, I'm real close with her and her producer, uh, Ron Gilmore. Well, Ron Gilmore was working with her at the time, but mm-hmm. they uh, they did like a jam session one night just playing around. And they wasn't even going to do nothing with it. And he was playing it one night. I was like, what's that? He's like, oh, this is some shit me I already did last night playing. I was like, send me that. So I literally chopped it up like a sample and made a beat out of it. And then, like, it's, I don't want to give too much away, but when you hear it, you'll know what I'm talking about. Like, mm-hmm. um, but you know me and Ari, I don't know if y'all know me and Ari go way back because she was on my on that album Elephant Eyes in 2015, and then um, I was like playing her music all the time for the crew, and it just was an organic thing. They was playing it, and that's how she kind of like became with Dreamville because it was just an organic. We was all playing her music, yeah, for you know? sure. So um, I always been a fan of her. So like, it's like to see her and how her career like blossomed. I know that. Bro. Yeah, like, I know you. It's was like, just a good feeling. It's like it's a warm feeling for yeah. you. Like damn, that, not, that's only like cause, not only because I feel like she's a good person, but like just the talent. It's like uh-huh. yeah, she's bro, really her voice talented. Is amazing. Yeah. And so it's just to so even if I play a two percent role in helping people hear that, that's like I'm honored. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. That's how. Did we, you meet? Have you met anybody along the way where you were like, damn, I didn't expect to run. A, yeah, with um, them. like starstruck type moments, or maybe. Um, I would say meeting Dr. Dre was crazy because damn, I was in a, I was in a, um, in like the lobby of a studio actually making a beat with headphones, and he walked up and like tapped me, and I was like, what the f-? like so you know, he like, knew who you were. I don't even know if he knew. Oh, but you said you had he on saw his me headphones. making a beat. Yeah, he, I had on headphones and he saw my computer. Like, uh-huh. so he like, what you working on? And I like look up like, what the fuck is Dr. Dre? You know, yeah. like that's crazy. So that that was a crazy moment. Um, 
I would say crazy. That's yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, I don't fucking dream. I would say Jay Z. <laughs> meeting Jay Z was. I never really, you know how they say people got like an aura about them. Like I felt that. Like I was like shit. Like I, this is what they talking about. Like yeah. And I remember like. I don't really get starstruck. I mean, I appreciate people when I meet them, but I usually just tell them how I feel. But mm. I felt the starstruck. I was like, damn, like I was like nervous. And I was you didn't like, say oh, nothing. I was like, oh, I said something, but I was just like, oh man, I'm a big big fan. I was like, <laughs> and I, I'm thinking in my head like, nigga, what are you the doing? Because the energy, the presence. You yeah, were saying just, you felt his aura. It was auras. so weird. It was I'm so not big. Like that. So, but it's t- but oh, it beat oh, artists like that. That T D K. Yeah, it was like I didn't play it cool. Exactly. Like, exactly. Turn down King. Yeah. Turn um, down King. But yeah, those was a couple moments. I say meeting Common because he's from Chicago. Oh, okay, I grew okay. up listening to him. That was like you know, a whole time. That was that was a moment for me. Um. Yeah, I would love to meet Nas because that's that's probably my favorite rapper. So you want yeah. top five rappers of all time? I oh, just gotta man. ask you. I gotta ask you. Oh man! Because when you, the list you've been throwing out there, you don't say it. Nas. It's real. Yeah. It's, yeah. I Jay-Z. mean, honestly, it's it's. It ain't gotta be in order. Okay, it's changing. Um, I'm gonna say Nas just because uh-huh. I have to. I'm gonna say Jay Z. Um, man, this is tough. Um, Nas, Jay Z. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go even older. I'm gonna say Rakim. Only and the reason I'm saying Rakim, you can that's your you can rap with Rakim. Saying Rakim is because none of us would be rapping the way we rap unless he rapped how he did. Like, okay, so okay. You gotta give like so he set the foundation. He set the whole before that everybody was rapping like a hip, but it was the yeah. different type <laughs> yeah. of style. You know what I mean? So basketball, me like, yeah, you favorite, gotta, yeah, you yeah. gotta put him in there. Um, I'm a, this might be controversial and people might think I'm biased, but I'm gonna put Cole in there because I oh, feel no. like he no, that, that ain't controversial. I feel like he that sharp, <laughs> you know what I mean? Um the fifth one. This is really tough. Damn, this is a tough one. I'ma say even though if I'm being honest, I would give it a slight little asterisk. But I'm gonna say Andre 3000, and the only reason why the asterisk? Why we from Atlanta? Why you talking about asterisk? Just listen, just listen. Wait. Why? For the, what? The only reason, I, first of all, he's Think amazing. To, like, to be one number one, the fuck. <laughs> <laughs> the only reason I'm saying it is because everybody else I listed, they have tons of solo albums okay, with where you got to write three verses every song. So obviously he got the ability to do that, and I would love to hear that. But I'm just saying he hasn't done it yet. So okay. that's the only reason I get a little asterisk. But I, I feel like if he did do that, he might go to number one. Yeah, like, I mean, I technically he did do it, but he didn't do a bunch of them. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I, the Love Below is like, one of my favorite I'm about to say, the Love time. Below yeah, do yeah. count, because that was his own solo album. For sure, for sure. But yeah, okay, I like that. Five. Don't, don't, don't hurt me. I ain't mad me, at the saying. list. You know who I'm surprised you didn't put on the list, being from from Chicago? Kanye. I don't know why. How you feel about Kanye being I from Chicago? I love Kanye music. I, I am kind of surprised I didn't put him in there. Um you ain't mentioned Kanye the whole time, and right. I don't know. So I, let me, I okay. thought just because the vibe so, no, and the, no, and I, the I, Chicago. Kanye was a huge influence on me. Like he mm-hmm. was one of the first people that showed me like, oh, you can rap and you don't have the, you can rap and like resonate with people even if you don't have the same story as like Jay Z or Biggie. Like I wasn't mm-hmm. a street hustler, I wasn't a, g- you ain't a gang member, dope, whatever. Yeah, yeah. Like he yeah. showed me that like, oh, you could be, you don't have like before that was kind of corny. To do anything else he made it like cool to be normal like yeah so you know and just obviously all the creative projects he made he, he even just have talent like yeah <laughs> yeah it's just but he had a gift you know with like being able to be say like real shit in a funny way in a way that like kind of what we were talking about earlier just real shit that resonates like